Hello and welcome to the Daisy Summer Studio channel on YouTube and in this video I'm going to show you how to port Sims to character from the game directly into Blender. This method I'm showing you is good because it allows us to port the same sim directly with their meshes, vertex groups, shape keys and textures without breaking them. So in order to do this we need our sim in sims body shop. If your sim is in game you have to port them in the body shop, I will not show you here how but I will leave a link in the description that shows us how to do this. Once you have your sim in the body shop, you can edit them and you can save them into sims to pack format. Save the sim in sims to pack and we are ready to go. And then we open sims package editor. We'll need to open our sims to pack and here we'll see that sims to pack basically is a bunch of packages having all our sims custom content and face facial data. We'll need to open every single one package in here and export all meshes, textures and additional files. For example, the first file in here contains the mesh of a face and we'll go to geometry data container pick the face mesh and export it to 5GD. Also we'll go to resource nodes and export 5CR file. This is the skeleton for our meshes and we'll use it later. After that similarly open every other package, export textures and or meshes like this. When it comes to skin tones, open material definition tab. Check the name of definition, open it and remember the texture name that is going with it. For example, AF body cut is for swim adult female, which the one we need, so is AF face and AF hair. Go to texture images and export the files according with your names. Check that the mesh names correspond to gender and age group, for example, AF is adult female. Now you need Blender, version 3.8 to 3.6. Install it and install the 5GD add-on, link in the description, ensure it is on. Navigate to files you exported and import them here. Remember to import 5GD files and not 5GD XMLs and so on. Also you need to import 5CR file. Select all meshes previously you imported, change the import type to skeleton and import it. Clean up if needed. For every part create a new material, add the corresponding textures and tweak the node settings. If there is transparency, connect alpha sockets in the settings set shadow and blend mode to alpha hashed. Now face. Open Photoshop or any other editor, open your face texture and import every texture that stands for makeup, eye color, eyebrows and so on. Arrange, edit if needed and save to PNG. 
Assign face material just as previously. How do I add displacements? I add saturation hue value node, add bump node, connect them and tweak until I get the desired results. Continue to adjust materials as needed, clean up doubles and so on. To create facial animations, Sims 2 characters use shape keys. I created a script to add or ready to go presets with powers and emotions. The link is in the description too. Open script editor and paste the text here. Make sure you selected face and press the script execution button. Now you see new presets you can animate, combine and modify. And that is all for now. Thank you for attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the commentary section. If you want more videos, like the video with your opinion or suggestion and subscribe to the channel. See ya!